sorted right now by this 14 that just means 14 times you know Kavita mentioned me so if I click on her name here I can actually see what hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you find the most targeted leads the best leads on Facebook by targeting their activity or not their activity but well yeah their activity your activity what how do you find these active people in Facebook and I'm not just talking about groups just in Facebook who is the most active person that you can engage with how do you find those people we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right imagine if you could actually figure out who's actually active and who's not in Facebook without having to scroll through the news feed like a crazy person spending four or six hours a day which is what lots of leaders do and what they uh, teach you to do not directly they don't tell you spend six hours a day but they tell you spend the time in the feed engage with people in the feed that's what leaders tell you and you end up spending like basically all your time in the feed because you know that the more time you spend the better it is but what if I told you you could do it in just 30 minutes a day you can actually figure out who is the most active using a software a tool that helps you to do that I'm going to show you exactly what I mean but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis503.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and there's going to be a blog post there as well all right so let's get to it let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about uh there we go all right so you know you're on Facebook you're seeing posts from people based on you know things you've done based on who you like who you're friends with based on like a whole bunch of different things right that Facebook chooses who what to show you in the feed right one of the things I've been telling people is that you don't need to use the feed to engage to find people so I created a tool called active group users that gives you the list of the users that are actually active in groups now we've taken it one step further and now we actually have the ability to show you the list of people that you're engaging with normally and who is actually engaging back with you in your content and your comments so you can tell who's actually active right who is it that's actually active now this is a new feature that's been out just uh well actually officially online in the chrome store only for two days or one day even right now as I'm recording it but by the time you see this it'll be about a week but the feature I've been using it uh since you know for a while right I should have probably loaded this to kind of show you but if you look through this list here you can see that I have all these people I have these columns that show you the these are the visits the reaction the comments but there's also now something new which isn't by shown by default I gotta enable it but basically shows you that people mentioned you in their post now why is that important like say if I go to Facebook right I go to Facebook I look through the list here I don't really know you know who of these people right have actually been kind of engaging on my post or not I I kind of see when they when I like the tool lets me track when I engage on other people's stuff but it doesn't let me know who actually engaged back on my post so I can you know know when it's a good time who is it a, who's a good person to engage with right like leaders they'll just tell you just go ahead and send a friend request and a message to anybody who's in this feed or maybe you go through groups or you go find people but that's no longer needed now you can actually get the list of people who are actually active and who are actually engaging on your stuff so you know that you can probably have a conversation with them and they're gonna know who you are they're gonna actually be interested in talking to you and yeah so that's so how do you do that right so there's a couple of ways first you can actually use Facebook to go find that information like if I go to my own profile right here 
right I go to my own profile and you're going to see there's three little dots right here and then th there's a whole bunch of things you can do but you can go to activity log right there can we see that yeah okay go to activity log and then what you when you go to activity log you're going to notice a whole bunch of different things right so you can you know go through this and kind of figure out uh, some of the stuff that's there but just uh, for example comments actually let's go to your Facebook activity right here I'm sorry <laughs> you know that um, the time change was last night right so I, I was up an hour early all right so you can see right here comments and reactions it says that I commented on Mar Marcia's po photo here I commented on um uh, who, uh, da, da, on Lisa's post here I commented on Rod's post right so it can it kind of shows you what you did in Facebook which you know I mean like you can't really uh tell from this you know who you're engaging with the most because all you see is who you engage with today you kind of have to scroll down I mean if I open this up and I go just comments right without the reactions it shows me the list of the comments and I can scroll and I can see more and more and more right ever right but then like how do you add that up right let the the tool will do that for you but this is just your activity so in my case my activity right what if you could actually see like activity you're tagged in if I go here posts and comments you're tagged in photos and videos are tagged in so if I look at this list here in Facebook uh, if we let it load up here it won't be too too long it doesn't it doesn't take too much time but it takes you know a few seconds I guess uh let's let it load but if I look at that list it'll give me the list of when I was mentioned in posts right which is useful um when you look at this right I can see Janine here mentioned me in a comment uh Carla Ed uh Julid Maurice Hunter all these people right they're they're engaging either either their comment like I could click on these right to go see what exactly it was which post it was that this person commented on and mentioned me right so it's either a comment on my post or it's a comment a reply to a comment I posted on their post so this list here is great but how do you track that right how do you track this yourself you're gonna what you're gonna create a spreadsheet and you're gonna start to add things up you're gonna say look Janine so Janine three posts right here and I scroll down I scroll down when is the when when is the last time that Janine actually comes on one of my posts or or mentioned me in a comment right how would I ever know that right I mean yeah you could track this if you wanted but what if the tool did it for you that's anyways that's something I've been working on for a while and I just released the feature now um, and this is how it works right so I can just go up here into the columns and select I want to see now mentions the mentions I'm just going to say show I'm going to apply the columns and basically what that does is it reloads and now this changes the view from now till forever until you change it again basically it adds the columns to your view uh, the column the mention column to your view so you can actually go and see who mentioned you and you can also sort with that list right so right now we can see that this mention column right here there's two three five six seven zero five now this is you know the number is going to grow over time because the software goes checks every day dimensions and then it'll just add dimensions it doesn't know about yet so the ones that happened in the last 24 hours right and it'll add them to the list so if I go say for example I can actually sort by this I can click on the let's clear the filter by clicking the clear button which kind of makes sense right so let's clear the filter and then let's sort it by the mentions right so that will allow me to see from all these that are here how many are each you know who has the most mentions now like I said this just started this week if I click on the mention now this just started this week so I don't have like you know dimensions from a month ago or two months ago or whatever so but over time it'll add up and you're going to be able to do the same thing you're going to be able to use this list to identify who is the most active who is you know who's the best lead that you could actually have a conversation with that actually has been noticing your stuff like see 
Gavita sorry if I'm not saying the name right um and Jamie and Don and a a b and Deborah and Renee they've all mentioned me the most right it's sorted right now by this 14 that just means 14 times you know Kavita mentioned me so if I click on her name here I can actually see what those mentions are by default it shows only five if I click on the mention here you can see right here she mentioned me with little hearts right just very simple mentions which is sometimes all you get from certain people but if I click on reload here it'll load them all and I can click on the 14 mentions now and I can see them all and I can see that they're all basically the same thing right she's just basically replying thank you which is which is fine right but that means that she saw my comment and she reacted to my comment right so that means that this person here you know if I keep engaging on her post and she keeps seeing my post this number is going to keep going up it's just going to keep going up right now it's at 14 just from a few days oh let's look at it again just wanted to kind of show you right here to actually so shows you the date right the seventh oh when I click it it opens up the post so I'm just gonna go back here so if you click any of these it'll actually take you to the, the exact comment the exact post that they commented on so if I click on you see this is the seventh at 10 10 10 10 it looks like they might have some sort of automation or because they're all the same unless there's a bug but let's load them all and see if they all have the same timestamp. if they do that's a bug that'll be that'll be fixed before you get a chance to look at it yeah it looks like oh no 1009 1009 10 10 well I'm not sure but if I click on this let's take a look see this is the seventh it says the seventh at 10 10 so all these posts are all the same day so let's just go here click on that just go look at it and see if it's really 10 10 10 09 so that loads up this the post and it also loads up this is see how it's highlighted that's the one that she replied to right so four days ago if I mouse over this it'll give me the exact thing timestamp so Thursday March 7th at 10 09 that looks right isn't that what we saw here 10 oh set 10 yeah that's exactly correct so it's just somebody who might have some automation tools or something I'm just going to close this up and let's go take a look at somebody else just for fun if I click on if I close this now if I go to say Don and I look at her if I look at the if I just reload to see them all right just keep in mind that as these numbers grow if you wanted to reload them all it can take a while right because the database is big and it's and it's um and you're loading all the you're loading everything all the comments all the mentions all the uh, visits to them right all the posts all the comments see 235 comments 12 mentions right so it reloads all that maybe I'll find a way to m improve the way you access this but by clicking on this now I can see right here the fourth the eighth the ninth uh so I guess that wasn't a bug it's actually correct so you see she says stay the course right here oh this looks like one two three four the same thing so that might be a I don't know that might be a bug is it let's click on this it'll open it up for us maybe she did comment four times the same thing I don't know so this is a post she did March 3rd we just give it a second it'll load and it'll scroll to the actual uh, comment so it says right here stay the course so this is actually the one if I mouse over the three day there I can see that it's March 8th at 9 41 a.m which is March 8th at 9 41 a.m and the, I don't know why there's four this might be a bug this certainly doesn't look right mm, but yeah so that's that's basically what you do you can see the mentions and now you can sort by the mentions and that's kind of how you can use the software now for me that means that I'm going to go in here I'm going to say okay I want to see see how there's these this column here is the last time I visited their profile right if I mouse if I click it again you can see right here I did one visit four days ago it says so over here if I mouse over Jamie here it says I did 11 visits in the last 84 days if I mouse over this and I just keep my finger it'll show you when that was right four days ago 164 363 468 so this Jamie here I haven't visited him in a while but I must have seen a post in his 
in the t in the news feed and I decided to comment on it and then he you know mentioned me in the replies right if I click on the commented on or click not click it but mouse over it you can see I commented on three comments four days ago and then one comment 164 days ago and then three comments 363 so this Jamie here I haven't been engaging on his stuff too too much but this lets me see exactly <laughs> you know where they might be in the interaction with my content so that I might be able to have a conversation with them now obviously you might need to know more about them you can click on the comments here to kind of see what they're what they're doing um what kind of comments they have right um and if I close if I go back here whoops I gotta go scroll around we've got to fix all these scrolling things but just go find the little x on the very right top right you just got to scroll around but if I look at this I reacted and I sent him a pm oh yeah the other thing is I want to see what kind of post does he post right so you'll see join our free community here he says so there's things like that that you can kind of look at so if I look at somebody a little bit more uh somebody that I know is a little bit more like Sean here right so Sean if I look at his last five posts he talks about like he's got these daily lives which is awesome he does a lot of great content and I can see right here that these last few posts are um are the are these content right so that's kind of you can kind of see what he's posting and it gives you an idea if you ever want to reach out to them to him right you certainly can go to Facebook you click on this and takes you to Facebook and then you can comment on his stuff like I'll show you how that works so right now I want to go and find people that I haven't visited in at least six days now I could just keep loading right here and it'll load more down the bottom it loads 25 at a time but if I want to I can also I can also I can also filter by number of days I can say I want ju just show me people that I haven't visited in at least six days or I can sort by this because as you can see they're kind of all over the place here right but let's do the minimum days of six and let's just click on filter and that'll give me the list of people that I haven't visited in at least six days so that way you know you don't necessarily want to visit like if you're if you're just going through the news feed right let's go back to the news feed if you're just going through the news feed you're going to end up seeing mostly the same post from the same people right because Facebook knows what you've engaged who's supposed you've engaged with before what kind of content you like what kind of content you typically comment on so it'll actually show you stuff that's usually pretty much the same but if you use this software here you can actually choose right who you visit based on whatever rules you choose right is it the number of, see right now it's sorted by mentions which means that Monty here is one of the people that has mentioned me four times uh des des deb deb debis debis hurry debis hurry sorry about that uh is has, has mentioned me twice sandeep for two times tim two times but like i said this is just because over the just over the last couple of days uh the numbers will change over time but i know i can just click on on monty's name here and then when i click on his on his name again or his profile picture here or here it'll take me to Facebook and it'll record that I visited him just now so if I click on this <coughs> it opens up his profile <coughs> his profile and the idea here is you want to engage on some of his some of his recent posts right so I'm going to just <coughs> I'm just going to engage on some of these right um, let's see what he's saying not surprised this product is blowing up and I'm just going to say that sounds that sounds that's not surprising indeed surprising indeed right so I would just post a comment that's kind of related to what he's saying here now I can just I'm going to comment another one here nine to five I guess I'd have to look at it a little bit more right an amazing birthday party for a niece oh I'm just gonna like that I'm gonna say happy birthday happy birthday to her right so I'm just going to put a comment a post like this and then I want to show you afterwards I'm, I do three comments three posts 
um you're pushing forward every day I'm so proud of you keep pushing forward all right so I'm just gonna like this I'm gonna say uh oh, you're so you're so you know oh thanks so much thanks so much so are you keep up whoops that's a w e not a on my phone right it corrects me when I do all these uh, typos not on this I don't know why they didn't implement that yet but there we go and then okay so now I commented on three of his posts I reacted to three of his posts so I can just so I can close this and I come back here and I actually going to say I commented on three posts and reacted on three posts now with the uh, the second new feature of the software you could leave that without setting it because tomorrow whenever it does the scanning again it'll actually see that I commented on three of his posts and it'll actually add it for me in the software but I I'm kind of used to doing it so that's kind of what I do anyways I do save update here and then when I look at see how Monte right here now is now he's green and it says just now right there and that shows me that I visited Monte's profile it also increases the number well actually this is not correct if I reload I didn't reload this page I'll reload the whole page so you can see that this number here is going to be well it's three it was two earlier but the real number was is eight I guess so now it's nine uh, because this red area doesn't reload automatically whenever you navigate around you have to reload the page if you want to get updated numbers like say for example you're using your phone because I do I do use my phone all the time to do this process right then I'm going to show you just quickly right here if I go into chrome and I go into the software here uh you can see I can use uh, let's let's actually go to I I could have shared the screen of my phone uh let me set that up and I'll come right back all right so as you can see on my screen right now on on my phone right this is my phone so I guess it doesn't let me move it and resize it I tried to resize it but it went back to smaller okay well there you go okay so as you can see this is basically the same uh, UI so I use my phone all the time to do this I can actually come up here and I can sort by it's actually sorted right here by as you can see from I don't know if I can highlight that somehow for you but you see my mouse moving around I think on the screen <laughs> right there so M is for um uh, mentions so that's the sort I have the same sort order I have on the computer but then I can come in here and I can say okay I want to go to the this this users uh, go to the account by clicking it so that that allows me to do this anytime I'm away from my computer I don't have to be at my computer to just to engage on people's stuff right so then I come down here and I'm gonna be like I'm going to say absolutely to this I'm just going to go like that uh, and, and you know obviously you want to have some comments that are more appropriate based on what it is so you want to read the post right and kind of get an idea and uh, this guy here is talking about hook story offer and then I'm just going to like this I'm going to say thanks for great explanation right so I'm going to comment now I can just close this I can click on the back button down the bottom there a few times that's because that's just how Facebook works and then it comes back to the active group users the EGU screen I just say two I just did two for him so I'll just do two I'll save that so now you can see the number up top is up to 10 and but on the computer here it's still nine right that they're not synced that way but if I was to reload this page on my on my computer it would you know update to nine it would know that I did the the update right but that's kind of how you use it but that's the basics that's the feature that's been around since like forever and like I said now it automatically will track the activities even if you don't record them in here so that means you can actually just be on Facebook and you can actually just be engaging on people's stuff right if I go to Facebook here I can just go on Facebook and I can just come down here and I can engage on posts like Tracy Walker here she's not even in my list but she's on my news feed so I can actually engage on this don't forget to your water yes and I'm just going to say absolutely absolutely and there you go so now I even though that's not on my 
you know on the software it's not in the list there she's going to become somebody in my list starting tomorrow because I engage on her stuff so Rod for example he's not in my list or but I see his posts all the time and I comment on them and you know like this is Connie here I also comment on lots of her stuff now if I go back to the to the software let's just go let's turn the phone thing sharing thing off I'll be right back all right so just to reduce the cpu make my computer faster right okay so if i go back here and i go to um to the to this list i can actually come in here i can clear the filters right so that'll give me the um with no start date no anything right but then i can come in here and i can actually search for like i have like i was showed you earlier i have rod and connie those are two of my friends that i routinely engage on their posts <clears throat> but they're not picked up by my active group user software because what that does the default is <coughs> you give it a list of groups actually let's just click on the extension here so you can see what the extension kind of looks like but basically what it does is you give it a list of groups right here you see how these groups are here you give it a list of groups which basically are the groups that you think your target market is actually going to be in like you know people that are interested in in fishing or in, in tennis or in weight loss or whatever you choose you put the groups in there it'll go get the people that are active in those groups right so that's the main thing that the software does but like my friend Rod and Connie they're not in the groups that I put there because they're just you know they just they're just not in those groups there might be in other groups that I didn't include in my list but I still want to see that I'm engaging with them so what I can do here I can search for uh Rod Edwards so Rod Edwards I just put his name well the name there and I click on filter so then what it'll do is it'll give me everybody who's in Edwards right so I can find well there's Jim Edwards there's a whole bunch of Edwards right so where is Rod uh he's not even there but let's sort by visit it so that will give me the people that are visited recently see how Rod Edge is right here I visited them yesterday because I actually commented on a, one of his uh, posts in the feed and that kind of shows me who is actually active who I've actually engaged with even though I haven't clicked the software to go visit them you see how it says I got 18 visits if I click on his name and I mouse over this it'll show me when I visited so yesterday two days ago six days ago seven days ago I did. and what that means is I engaged on some of his posts in the news feed or I visited his profile either one is this kind of the same thing because in the end what you're trying to track is who is actually seeing you in their notifications in their comments on their posts right so that's what the tool lets you do it lets you track that so that you know that when is a good time to have a conversation I mean Rod is a friend so obviously it's not not exactly the same but say I wanted to know if some random person that I have no clue who they are and I commented on their stuff on the news feed like John Edwards here or John this other John Edwards I don't even know who they are right but if I actually commented on one of their posts it would show instead of not yet it would actually show that I uh, visited them when it was and then if I do it over and over and over it'll actually add up the visits and the more times they see you the more likely they are to be interested in what you have to offer they might go check it out themselves or if you have a conversation with them at least they're going to be like oh I've seen that person pro in my post uh, before maybe let's have a conversation right they're going to be open to talking to you that's the secret that active gurus just gives you all right so hopefully you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time